little bit of a mix up whether Sweet Tea is going to go his Pichu or the Pokemon Trainer, of course. It's it's difficult, but I believe the Pokemon Trainer Dang, is, might be even more difficult I'm, against a character like Olimar. Dominating. Oh, yeah, definitely. 0% JV3. No, they just didn't want this stage, I'm guessing. Yep. Either that or just button checking. Button check real quick. Yeah. yeah. I think that's important. If you don't, if you're not 100% sure, and, or you think someone might have sabotaged your controls or something like that, you always gotta keep, keep that in mind. Fair yeah. Fair game. Mm -hmm. I think you're. I think you're like allotted 30 seconds or something like that to do so. So. I think there's a. I, I, wanna, I know in melee there's like a certain rule. I'm not, for hand warmers. I'm not so sure about uh, about ultimate. They might have just replicated. Yeah. The melee may, rule. Maybe. Maybe. Not officially in the rule sets, but I, I have seen some rule sets at the at the least that do have that. So game number one officially here on Pokemon Stadium two. It's gonna be Sweet Tea versus I'm Hip, and this is Edmund and Sedge on the mic. All right, let's see how this goes down. Okay, I like that using the neutral air to kill the yellow Pikmin, knowing that nothing else is really gonna work here. All right, falling neutral air, but. It, uh, Turns around in the opposite direction with the down tilt. That would have been a really nice combo starter for uh, Sweet Tea. Nonetheless, he's taken already 62%. I'm hip content to just sit back and toss these Pikmin. Get a few latched on. That's going to equal a lot of damage. And right now, uh, Sweet Tea definitely in danger of dying to a strong smash attack, especially from that purple Pikmin, which is out to toe. Yep. I mean, the biggest thing is that you're gonna want to play around that Thunder Jolt. If you can go, if you can play around T Jolt, then it makes the matchup a lot easier. Pichu kind of has to utilize that short range to be able to try and get around their yeah. opponent. But you can see right there, I'm Hip knows exactly where the trajectory is gonna be. Catch him off guard, get that edge guard. Yeah. And you were talking about those Thunder Jolts, and I mean, it really started. You could see uh, Sweet T kind of settled back into spamming these Thunder Jolts to create some space. But I'm Hip not letting that happen at all. He had two purple Pikmins online, and he knew he could use the side uh, side B Pikmin toss to kind of just jump over the uh, Thunder Jolt and eliminate that threat altogether. Exactly. To continue to pressure and eventually get that stock. I'm hip at 77%. I mean, I know that uh, Sweet Team might just be more comfortable in this matchup with the character, but I mean, if we're just talking about a like, super high level play, this is the one matchup that Void likes to go uh, wolf, wolf instead. Yeah. So that is something to consider as well. I feel like um, even though Sweet Tea has taken sets off I'm Hip with this character, I'm Hip can always uh, bring it back around. I feel like he has the general advantage just with the pace and the flow of the match that Forto will be able to take it though. Oh my god, someone has something that smells super good, but what's also super good is the way that I'm Hip took, or the uh, Sweet Tea took that stock, excuse me. Uh, down at 83% and still climbing though. I mean, Olimar can take away his stocks very easily, especially against a like, character like Pichu. So we'll have to see. The purple back air, you can see he's keeping that uh, purple and that blue online and just keeping those at bay to make sure that you can have them available for either grab or like a close range up smash. All right, and uh, I can see Sweet Tea, he's really opting for these lower percents, trying to land with a neutral air, but he's gonna wanna be careful, especially with I'm Hip. Uh, if he is able to pick up on that, he's gonna get those easy parries and get some punishes. But the up air will suffice, and he's still only sitting at 61% with Sweet Tea on his last stock right now. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. He had the Sweet Tea cornered, and he wasn't able to use T-Jolt or anything like that, and he was able to outrange him with his Pikmin, of course, so that's gonna be able to allow him to take a very easy stop, just catching him on a full hop, and then outrange that back air. All right, I'm hip with the edge guard here. He's got double, pick, uh, double purple Pikmin in play. Pulls a red, forward smash by the ledge, not enough to do the trick. Try to pick him up with the down tilt. Still has a really good position. Tech change situation. Not able to find a cross up or anything like that. But still, two purples online. One purple online now. The T-Jolt is going to get rid of one of them. Ooh. And a blue. This is a very deadly setup, especially with the white Pikmin, too, just in oh, case you want to attack on some extra damage. And he, I mean, it, if he can get that white Pikmin latch, it will definitely put him in the percent range where the up throw will absolutely kill if it doesn't already kill. Uh, Pichu is one of the lighter characters in the cast, so he's definitely at, at kill percent. So yeah. a lot of moves, possibly even that forward air, not going to get the strong hit. Still not quite enough to do it. Tech Chase into the four tilt. Not going to happen, but I guess it is that time around. Try to get a close quarters up smash. That's a very good option for Olimar, but just right outside the range. And that four tilt is one of Peach's better range moves, so that will definitely work out for him. 142% though. Not very, okay. Yeah, I was going to say not very not, not <laughs> comfortable so, not, percent not great, to be in. Not great. Yeah. And I'm hip definitely making it hurt. Getting that up smash in on the landing and taking game number one here from Sweet T. Yeah, very great stuff. Like I said, this is not by all means like a counterpick matchup. It was just I think it's one of those things where it's like you have a worse matchup and you have a not as worse matchup. Right. So. Yeah.
We'll have to see if he potentially goes back to the Pokemon Trainer as a comfort pick, or if he's just going to try and stick with the Pichu. We'll have to see. But, of course, I'm hit very comfortable with this character, Olimar. He's very good. Even in Smash 4, he was very good Whoa. with uh, setting up the match. He just picked the, the Street Fighter stage. You think he's going to pull out a Ryu? Nah, he just likes the music. All right. Nah. <laughs> Damn, he got my hope. Got my hopes up. No, no, no. Sweet T was a Ryu uh, <laughs> player in Smash 4, but uh, a lot of the Ryu players are non-existent nowadays. Yeah, they play Ridley now. <laughs> Locust, Trela, uh, and Venom. They all play with Ridley, and, coincidentally. And, Lo and Locust plays Doc, too. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, going back to the Pokemon trainer, I'm not quite surprised. But yeah, the Street Fighter character suck. You know who doesn't suck? This character, Pokemon trainer, right oh, here. Absolutely not. I mean, this character has got it all, especially with Squirtle. Uh, despite being so light, he's got one of the biggest combo games out of the cast. And Ivysaur also having a really decent combo game on top of just kill confirms on kill confirms. Yeah. Charizard, of course, being the heaviest of the three and able to survive at higher percents. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to be able to uh, switch between the three as he needs to to find uh, his groove here. Uh, I would have thought he would have switched to Ivysaur a little while ago. He was sitting at 100%. Squirtle is, is definitely... Uh, was in danger of dying like 40% earlier than that. Yeah. Okay, but gonna get that down there and catch him off guard. Because, of course, it's very wide, it's gigantic oh, hitbox. Huge, if huge. you ever seen the visualization, it's pretty crazy, actually, it's how actually they allowed that fair, to happen. <laughs> it's actually not fair, dog. Yeah, everyone's like, everyone always says, it's like, all right, it's uh, Ivysaur and friends, but that's one of those reasons. <laughs> like, you see that giant move, and you're like, why would you ever play anyone else? Uh, yeah. But, of course, here we go. Yeah, and then not a Oh, man. Having a hard time just trying to get back to stage. Yeah, not only does the up down air have a huge hitbox, but we're going to start to see the up air right here, which has a very similar hitbox and is going to be able to keep your opponent uh, off the ground for a really long time and kill eventually. So Yeah, I mean, most of the time when Olimars like to land, they like to land with like a upbeat into a landing air aerial or something like that, but that up air will probably beat out both of those options. So it's a very wise decision if you know that you can get your character into um, advantage position, like underneath your opponent. Oh, what a tragedy for I'm Hip there. Able to get the parry in and the up smash not going to connect. Just one of those Olimar things. The Pikmin not there in time to actually come out for the animation. Just uh, hang back with the Razor Leafs. Of course, there's a great setup tool if they try to get too close. You can potentially set up into an up air or an up B if they're not careful. We'll have to see what he goes for. Oh, but. Yeah, fantastic with the uh, purple forward air securing that stock. He had such a great lineup right there. And you can see uh, I'm hit knowing that the blue Pikmin was not a much of a use after uh, eliminating Sweet T's uh, previous stock since. Uh, the up throw is never not going to be a, a kill option anymore, so he goes ops for the next Pikmin in the lineup. Yeah, and I just want to talk about real quick that kill, because most of the time with that back throw, wow. the Geek will be able to do it as well. But yeah, I'm Hip is one of the best players at setting up the tempo of the match, yeah. and then Sweet Tea was playing the Razor Leaves at a pretty relatively same tempo, so he was just able to find that moment where Sweet Tea is trying to, starting to get a little bit brain dead with how he's throwing out those Razor Leaves, and then just caught him underneath, so very smart for I'm Hip. Yeah. Um, Hip still playing with a ton of momentum right now. He's got Sweet Tea stuck on his platform. He's making his way back down though, spacing out the back airs. Uh, back air seems to be like pretty good at just uh, um, getting rid of the Pikmin threat as he's tossing him as well. That he's KOing the Pikmin. Yeah. Ooh, misspacing these aerials while he's landing, and I Hip is starting to recognize that. Not quite having the setup for the hard punishes though, where you know he can get the kill, so he saves it for later. He's got himself at the ledge here. Not a great setup for kills. Gonna have to offer the damage instead. All right, the, big, the blue Pikmin is in tow now. Uh, so he may have that kill option a little bit later, but the neutral are actually gonna get rid of it entirely. Yep. Ooh. When you see I'm hit pause for a few moments, I feel like he's thinking about, okay, what Pikmin is gonna come out? What? What happened? Okay, up air. So he, <laughs> he pressured with the up smash and had uh, Sweet T stuck on, on the platform, and Sweet T. 